so now the topic is <coughs> properties of gelatin see here first one is bloom strength see what is the bloom strength nothing but it is used to measure the cohesive strength of cross linking between the gelatin molecule see the gelatin molecule is in the gel state so this is gel state of the gelatin so we need to determine how these two molecules this is a one gelatin molecule this is a second gelatin molecule how much strong bond present between these two gelatin molecules that can be determined by using bloom strength <clears throat> nothing but the strength cohesive strength of cross linking between these two gelatin molecules that can be determined by using bloom strength see if the bloom strength range see normal <clears throat> ideal ideal bloom strength range is 150 to 200 grams see if bloom strength range is get increased then what will happen it means the physical stability of the gelatin molecules will get increased next bloom strength increases nothing but increases the strength of the capsule if bloom strength get increases then increases the molecular weight of the gelatin same like that if bloom strength range is get increases the cost of the gelatin also is get increased see this is the advantage of measuring the bloom strength for the gelatin molecule see what exactly the bloom strength nothing but see how much grams here we need to add the weight see how much grams of weight we need to add how much grams of weight is required to depress this is see this is a plastic plunger this is a plastic plunger that is having the 0.5 inch diameter that is having 0.5 inch diameter see how much grams of weight is required to insert this plastic plunger into the 4 millimeter depth into the gelatin solution the gelatin solution what is the concentration of gelatin solution nothing but 6.66 percent is and that gelatin solution is held at 10 degrees centigrade for 17 hours then how can we determine means see if we people are moving this plastic plunger into the gelatin solution slowly then at 4 mm distance immediately there is a formation of crack see this is a crack this is a crack get formed within the gelatin solution then that weight we need to measure that particular weight we can call as bloom strength so this is about the bloom strength next one is viscosity another property of gelatin is viscosity see this bloom strength ideal bloom strength range is 150 to 200 grams next one is viscosity see see viscosity why we need to measure the viscosity here nothing but see the gelatin is in the gel state here we need to determine what is the chain length see if it is a chain length what what is this chain length chain length of gelatin molecule can be determined by using the viscosity of the gelatin and along with that what is the application of viscosity nothing but for producing for producing film non-tacky means non-sticky a non brittle pharmaceutically elegant product next what is the viscosity of this gelatin what is the ideal viscosity for the gelatin molecule is 25 to 45 millifoils see this is about the properties of the gelatin that is the bloom strength and viscosity very important for the gpat examination mm -hmm.